Rick Sparber here. So here I'm faced with a problem that I suspect that many of you have had, where I've got some nuts over here, I got this threaded rod, and of course I want the nuts to be in the center. And if I spin those by hand, uh, I think you're gonna shut off this video real quick because it takes forever and it's, uh, it's just plain boring. So I was faced with this recently and of course, I didn't like it any more than I did last time. But uh, I got thinking about how do I make this go a lot faster? So I have an electric drill. So how can I use that to help me move these nuts? Now you notice that there's two nuts here. This nut here has a flange on it, but this one's just a regular hex. That matters. So here's my fancy tool electric drill with a wheel in it. Uh, I found that the larger diameter is easier to control. You definitely want something that's got some rubber on it to grab. So let's start by uh, spinning the one with the flange. Oh, now I turned it one way so it's moving away from me, but I want to move it down. So it's very easy to, uh, to move it along. Now I'm doing it single-handed. Uh, it is better to support the, the rod so it doesn't wiggle. But I didn't want to block your view. And I found also that it's, it's easier to have the wheel in such a way ahead of the nut so that it moves into it. If you have it on the back side, it'll tend to move away from you. So let me move that one into position. And I'll show you how to do the hex nut. With the hex nut, if you come flat on there, you're just gonna rub the flats. So that doesn't work. But if you just get on the edge, you, you gotta find the sweet spot, and then it's just the same. I'm not finding a sweet spot yet. There it is. So I'm right on that transition between the face and the flat. You don't want to go too fast because it just gets ahead of you and lose contact. So it's not nearly as easy as the uh, nut with the flange, but most of the time I've got a hex nut on there. Now I did experiment with putting a piece of rubber tubing around there. It has to be split because you don't necessarily have the ability to get uh, over the end of the threaded rod. Uh, if you do, then that would make it easier. But I found that it wasn't necessary. That once I get to the sweet spot over here, it moves just fine. So hopefully that gets you something to think about. Uh, I'm sure that in your junk drawer you can make a few of these. So uh, give it a try and let me know what you think. That's all for now.